Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Valkyrie Profile. As we continue in the dark tower of eyeballs and veiny walls. It looks like gray penis skin. This is what these walls look like. And, uh, I'm sorry, but can I just take a second and just, and just go on a rant for, like, a few minutes about Vikings? It has nothing to do with the show. I got no problems with the show. It has everything to do with, like, how people react to it. And I feel like it's sort of on topic, because... Like... Just, people are so triggered about Lagertha. Constantly. I feel like the sole reason that her character exists is to, like, make closet MRAs out of themselves. Because, like, every episode that she doesn't die, they're like, oh, look, like, oh, it's a fucking, like, you know, how old is she? Like, 200, and, like, she's still fighting? God, like, why don't they just kill her? And they're like, oh, yeah, no, it's feminist conspiracy. Ugh. Like, you know, just stupid petty shit, and it's just like... And on that note, like, just to gush about the show for a second, like, if these people ever, like, go back and, like, watch old episodes... That's a funny sound. If these people ever, like, go back and watch old episodes... Even the characters that, like, by the time they die, you hate them... If you, like, go back and watch their stories, like, from the moment those characters are introduced... Everything they do is, like, super relatable. Um... Like, it's a, it's a pretty awesome show in that respect. I really have to say, because like, you know, like what's a good example, like Sigurd, like a lot of people didn't like Sigurd, but like, if you remember like when they were kids in the show, like watching them grow up, like, you know, Auslag was a bitch to Sigurd and Sigurd was like, Sigurd was also the one who like, I don't think anybody remembers this, but Sigurd was also the one who was like trying to look after, um, Bjorn's daughter, uh, what was her name? Siggy. Yeah, and uh, he was the one that was like trying to look after her while Bjorn was away being Bjorn. Not that I have a problem with Bjorn, he's just, you know, like every other character, he's got his flaws. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... So that happens, and like, you know, and he also like has to like constantly deal with like Auslog neglecting him for Ivar and like breastfeeding Ivar until Ivar is like, you know, God, he looks like he's like at least four or five years old. And that one shot in that one episode, like at the beginning of season four, I think it was. But like, and so when everyone, when, when, uh, when, when Ivar kills Sigurd, like nobody's like really upset. Although they still think, you know, I, st I still think most people thought Ivar was, that was a little bit uncalled for, but you know. But like, it's totally true, like. Auslag was kind of a bitch to all of them. But even Auslag, and I, I, would, I will say that Auslag was like one of my least favorite characters. I did not like her at all, and I do not like... I do not think that she did anything amazing to make people come to her defense so far, so hard, other than the fact that Ivar wanted revenge on Lagertha, and so they were using that as like... And so because of that, like everyone got kind of behind uh, Auslog is a character by proxy because they wanted Ivar to be awesome and you know they were in love with Ivar and like but I was not one of those people but even then I can relate to her character because like you know when when she was like going off and around with uh, Harvard who apparently was Odin in disguise uh, you know that I could I could relate to that because you know, Ragnar was, like, just kind of leaving her, and just, you know, he'd, like, all but abandoned her, and she was lonely and, like, miserable, because, like, you know, she was basically just being made to be, like, a housewife, while, you know, Ragnar went off and did, you know, God knows what, and, you know, she has no clue, she's just left to, like, raise all these kids, and she's, like, for a while there, she was... I mean, she stopped after a while, but for a while there, she was looking after Bjorn's daughter, too, and... You know. But, like, uh, everyone, like, 
forgets all those things. Like people really could benefit from like going back and like watching the older seasons and like remembering where a lot of these characters came from. But oh man, like people are so like everyone. It's like it's like it's like I said. It's like her character exists to out MRAs because they just cry pillars of salt that you could see from fucking space over Lagertha still being alive and still being like relatively attractive, even though you know she's supposedly supposed to be an old lady like right now, like not at all taking into the fact for all of their like bitching about historical accuracy that like Age of Consent totally wasn't a thing back then. You know, even Christ like even Christian people know that because what wasn't the isn't isn't the general consensus that like Mary was something like ah god damn it this is like the shittiest part of this dungeon is getting through there um yeah isn't the general consensus that like what uh I don't know that uh that that, that Mary was like fourteen or something when she was. When she, you know, immaculately concepted uh, uh, Jesus, whatever. I'm like, what? Who? What? What makes them think that, like, you know, Lagertha was like, damn it, God, that is harder to do than it looks. I did not mean to do that either. I'm not, I'm not gonna have to start over from brother away. Um, yeah, like, what makes them think that, like, Lagertha was like, you know. At a healthy middle age of like 35 when she gave birth to her first child like that's not at all how it worked back in those days there was no age of consent or like birthing or marriage or whatever like people got married and had kids as soon as they were biologically old enough to do so sometimes with huge age discrepancies you know which is you know of course creepy but like that's just the way it was back then and there's no reason to believe that Lagertha couldn't have been like, damn it, God, you really have to like do that, like, just so. Like, there's no reason to believe that Lagertha couldn't have been, you know, a grandmother at like 34, 35. And that by now, and like, you know, that Lagertha officially became a grandmother in season four when, damn it, when Siggy was born. Um,. So, you know, going off that metric, you know, she's probably like, I don't know, uh, you know, 45, 49, maybe, you know, probably pushing 50, but probably still in her 40s. And that's totally believable. And sh her character looks like that. And the actress is in her 40s. It's just like. Ah, oh, God, that is really that is hard to do. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's no joke. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> um. Yeah, like people are so mad about it. Cause they're like, you know, they showed the trailer for season six, because the season five finale was last night. They showed the trailer for season six, and apparently Lagertha's back in like you know a battle somewhere. For all for all they know, that could be it. Could just be all shots from the same battle. Maybe that's her last battle. It is like supposed to be the last season, but like you know what I mean. Like it's just it's just stupid and it's petty and it's really tiresome to listen to people. Like it's just it's so predictable. I'm gonna try a trick here that I heard about. Damn it. So there's a trick you can do here. Basically. Uh, well. Okay, maybe I'm not good enough to do that. <laughs> I tried. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up for a second and see if I can focus on getting across that gap because it really is annoying. Like if you're if you pause even for just a second, it's like you know it 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 gets you. That's part of why I hate this dungeon so much. 
it's not because it's hard, but because of those, you know, things. Yay. <laughs> I'm just going to start doing that from now on. Alright. So. Damn it. It's just, you have to have momentum, because if you're not moving forward, you'll do just like a little... Um... Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. I was trying to show you guys how, like, jumping works in this game. So if you're not uh, running forward, you won't jump like that. You'll... You know... You'll jump like that. Like that. You see what I mean? So it's like a tremendous pain. But yeah, going back to Vikings, like, I, I love the show. Like, it's... I don't even... It's not even just because... I'm Swedish and I find my heritage fascinating. Um, and I have always, even before I was fascinated with my heritage in that way, uh, I've always liked Norse mythology and found it really intriguing and, and amazing and interesting. Um, so it's not even that, but it, I mean, I really genuinely do think it is a very well, it's a very well written show. The fact that I can find something to relate to about every character, even the ones that have done things, the most things, that I find, like, morally reprehensible. God, fuck. That is just... Ugh. Ugh. God damn. Oh, God damn it. May have to cut some of this shit out, because <laughs> this is... This is not fun. All right. Damn it. Oh my god. It's the worst. I hate this dungeon. I hate this dungeon so much. Uh, now I now I really remember why I don't like it. It's not even that bad, it's just this one... This one room. <sighs> I wonder if there's... Okay, hold on. Maybe there's a way. Maybe if I... I haven't tried this before, but maybe it'll work. I hate that this treasure chest keeps coming back. That's really annoying. Okay, so maybe if I take one of these crystal pieces... Maybe if I... Maybe if I can manage to jump on that? Damn it. Okay, maybe if I throw this over there. All right, now let's see what happens. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Holy fucking shit. All right, so no, god damn it. <laughs> god, motherfucker. All right, cool. At least now I know I can cheese it like that. I don't think I've ever actually done that before. I think I've just struggled and managed to get across, but this time around, I'm doing a let's play and I don't want it to take that long. <laughs> Uh, okay. I knew, I knew there would be a way I could cheese it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I am, however, going to try and see if I can get rid of this chest again. It's really annoying. Alright, so you get over there. Now I'm going to try and see if I can throw another one over there. Because if I can do that... Um, yeah, so now I might be able to pick up one of those while I'm over there, I think, maybe. And perhaps... Uh, 
Damn it! Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I'm making a safe state right there, so I don't have to deal with that shit ever again. Because I'm pretty sure it happens again in another room. <laughs> To my side, indeed. You got everything but to fight. You kidding me? I'm gonna end this turn so I can take full advantage of everybody's everything, even though he was almost dead. Whatever. Oh man, the payoff for this the payoff for this dungeon is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so good. So good, so so deliciously sweet. Alright. But because I'm paranoid, I'm going to um not take any chances here with these things. Oh my god. I'm super paranoid. Even though I made that save state, so it really doesn't matter that much. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Alright. Uh, load. There we go. Yeah, not 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 dealing with that again. Although now I have to fight these guys again. Oh well. <laughs> now I'm just in a hurry to get out of this stupid dungeon. But alas, I know I can make it. I can do it. Oops. I did not mean to make a save state there, but that's okay. It works. Bam. Alright. Let's try this again. Go ahead and make another safe state here, just because. I don't care. Alright. I, I turned around last time because I wasn't sure if there was treasure or not. And then I rem remembered all too late that I've got my enemy and treasure search things equipped, so it would tell me if there was, but there wasn't. Damn. Is everyone all right? Oh man, such memories. Such memories. Fuck you, heart. Yeah, I did like that Ivar finally lost a battle because I feel like that will change him in some good ways. Um, you know, going back to the whole Vikings topic, uh, I'm not sure what the whole thing with like the vision at the end that Bjorn had was like, because it almost for a second there I thought like, oh my god, was all of that just like his imagination was the entire like last half of the episode, like him dreaming. It doesn't seem like it was, because then it showed Ivar, like, being carted away or whatever. Um, I just wish that... I mean, I don't know. I want Ivar to accomplish things, I just don't want him to, like... You know, like... He needs to get over his, his mother being killed. Like, he really does. Uh, he needs to realize that his mother really wasn't all that great. I mean, yeah, she was... The way she was treated was fucked up, but... God, there was no way around that. Ooh. 
Yeah, these guys are big deals. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not actually sure. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. These guys have a lot of HP, though, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I stake everything on this single blow. Finishing strike. Just the stream. I'm not strong enough. It shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. Yeah, the bow, the bow PWS really is better. It's just, it irks me, equipping Valkyrie with a bow and not putting her in the back row. You know, to take advantage of that and have more frontline and fighters that actually need to be up front. But, like, at the same time, like... I don't recommend making a party of, like, full melee fighters with Valkyrie in the back, because you just won't kill things fast enough. You'll have to pick things off one by one, and that can make certain, that can make certain fights very difficult. Just because you won't be able to use any, like, AoE magic or whatever, which... In a lot of parts of the game, you really can... You really do feel the lack of that. You know, if you force yourself to play like that. I mean, it's okay to do sometimes. Like, I'll probably do it at least once, just so you guys can see what it's like. Alright, I can probably kill one of these other guys. Yeah, so like, Lawfer still has some attacks left, but I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn, because... The bitch is frozen, and if I end my turn, I can just I can go ahead and refresh and get you know everybody's attacks back and be absolutely like one thousand percent sure that he dies. <laughs> Our work is done. Hell yes, done, bitch. All right. Um. Uh, huh. Okay, so I think, actually, I need to go back and hit that heart. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So you, have, you actually have to hit this heart multiple times, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I guess... I thought it would give me some sort of confirmation, but it didn't. Is there nothing else? I thought there was more. That's the one nice thing about this dungeon is that it's all one layer. That is that is kind of nice. I do kind of like that. There's not a whole lot of like going forward or going backwards. Yeah, and Uba. Oh man, Uba. Uba just like fucking. You know, he uh. You know him going up against King Frodo like that. Oh man. Oh shit. Like that was so, just legit. And then him being like, yeah, no, I didn't actually believe in Christianity. Like I was, you know, I was playing along because I knew it could help us and our people and then you know the Danes coming in and settling you know relatively peacefully it might not go so well next time. and you know making sure that you know King Alfred respects them and is like hey you know we're not savages for hard-working people like this is gonna be you know this is gonna be good um I thought that was really cool and I mean Like, oh, but then the, when when Uba comes back to 
to Kattegat, and he, like, gives, like, Vitzerk that, like, icy-ass stare. I'm like, oh man, come on, guys. I'm, I'm sad that, that King Harold didn't show up at the coronation, like, or I guess, I mean, it wasn't really an official coronation. It was more like they just won the battle, and, you know, Lagertha and everybody shows up in the nick of time and, you know, forks over the crown. But, like, I thought what King Harold did at the end there was really bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even though he, he, I'm sure a part of him only did it because Gunhild was watching. By the way, I really like Gunhild. Gunhild. And it's not even because, it's not even because I think, like, the actress is attractive. Because I actually don't really that much. But I just genuinely, I genuinely think she's uh, a really, a really good character. And I love the way that she treats Bjorn and Harold, and and the way that she, yeah, like you know what I mean. That and she, that actress is is Icelandic, and her last name is Ragnarsson. To my side, my no and uh, yeah, really like it. Yeah, I hope she sticks around. And I like that she she seems to maybe be finally making an honest man out of Bjorn. <laughs> Our work is done. But yeah, the way some the way some Vikings fans talk about female characters on this show, it's like, man, like did you are uh, like Gita must have been your favorite because she died when those darn women's are supposed to die at the ripe old age of 10, or however old Gita was. Gita was probably like, I think Gita was probably closer to like 12, 13, because I remember like a couple episodes before she died, she mentioned to Lagertha that she was bleeding, and Lagertha was like, oh honey, you're a woman now. <laughs> and uh, so she, yeah, she's probably a little bit older than that, but like, yeah, it's just like when Lagertha dies, like next it'll be Torby. Like Torby's Torby's not old enough. Like age her so that she's like decrepit and has to stay home, or just kill her. It's just like the way everyone's treating like every female character in this series, and it's just like you know the the men are the men are shown as aging faster because a lot of times when these when men and women got together back then, the the man was you know significantly older and the woman was still very young you know is usually the way it happened you know maybe not to extreme degrees i mean obviously ragnar could have been couldn't have been that much older than lagertha you, you know probably but i mean it's totally conceivable that like in the first episode of the entire se series like season one episode one when we're introduced to ragnar and lagertha it's totally conceivable that he was like 23 and she was like 16. That's totally a thing that could have been. And like, yeah, it's illegal now. I'm just saying like for the, for the purposes of like logic regarding these characters relative age, like it's, it's, it's not, you know, judging everything by like modern standards, not how, not how it necessarily worked back then. <sighs> Anyway, uh, getting close to the end here of the dungeon, that is. Go ahead and set up all my auto item shit. Well, first I have to spend all these points, obviously. I'm gonna try and make. Well, first of all, I need to come over here and, and do some maintenance here for a second. See what I can do with some of this stuff. Hmm. I don't want to transmute anything just yet because I'm about to get some shit that's gonna make transmuting stuff really fun.
I'm gonna try and give Yume as many support spells as possible because they're really gonna be valuable in this fight. So these these bosses that we're about to fight, basically, these are the ones that I think I mentioned. You have to kill them both on the same turn. If you kill one and then end the turn without killing the other, the other one will revive. The, the leftover one will revive the one you just killed, basically. Which, obviously, just utterly sucks. And you don't want that to happen. Um... See if I can transmute any of these other spellbooks into anything useful. No, no. Damn it. Shield critical, maybe. Dampen magic might be good. I do know that I definitely want to try and make sure to... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to teach her a Lightning Bolt as well. And I'm going to get rid of... Uh, get rid of Frigid Damsel. Because okay, AoE spells are obviously going to be the biggest sort of benefit that you have here. In fact, you know, I might even... Yeah, you know, that might not actually be a bad idea. I was going to say, what I could do is I could bring in three mages, but they're, I think they're, I, I, I think they're, like, really resistant to magic, though, actually, so that may not actually, that may not actually be of any benefit. Um, but we'll see. And, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and give them... Uh, man. I'm torn. I can't remember what they do. I feel like they mostly cast magic, but I'm also I'm I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, so I think that'll be fine and then what is this nonsense? Why are you still using like a regular gauntlet? Jesus. Oops. All right. Upgrade you there, because that would have been would have been shitty. Um. And then for Valkyrie, I'll go ahead and leave her with the bracelet of Zoe. And um. Equip this real quick and make sure that there's nothing else I could teach convert any of these things to that would give me uh, an edge of some sort. Uh, honestly, I don't think so, but yeah, it's not really anything. Um, yeah, all right. What time are we at? All right, so we got a couple minutes here. Um, Yeah, um, this has been most of the episode ranting about Vikings. Uh, it's just, I really like the show, and I really like all the characters. Even even Ivar, like, I mean, going back and watching his story, like, for all of season four, Ivar just, like, breaks my fucking heart, because, like, especially the episode when, they, when he gets back to Kattegat after, uh, you know, from England, after leaving Ragnar there, uh, and you know Ragnar knows he's gonna die, and he comes back to Kattegat, and he, he finds out that Auslug's dead and whatever, and you just see him up on the cliff, and he's just like screaming at the sky and crying. Like that's 
awful. Like, you know, I really felt for him. I don't feel for him when he's burning people. <laughs> but do I need to in order to like his character? Like, you know, you don't have to... You can say why you really like his character. Uh, you know, because there's things to, to relate to about him. He's not wholly unrelatable. And even Harold, like, I don't, I have not forgotten that Harold, like, went through a French village with Halfdan and, like, you know, killed other chickens and kids and then raped all the women and then killed them while singing songs. Like, I totally didn't forget that. And I totally didn't forget, you know, the whole thing with Astrid and everything. And But, like, it's still, like, you know, he still had like a rotten go of it like as rotten a go as a king can have anyway uh you know and he just constantly seems to be in the shadow of like you know all the sons of ragnar but then he still like steps up in that last episode and like saves bjorn and then winds up taking a you know a knife in his chest for it thankfully i don't think it killed him but still and you know he lost his brother and he lost astrid who i think he really was starting to kind of like love in a real capacity um and but I'm not mad at Astrid for you know having tricked him or whatever because that just you know I think that if so here's the thing I wonder if Astrid would not have, like, okay, like, let's say she didn't get gang raped by all those assholes trying to get information to Lagertha, and the dude was just a stand up guy and went to Lagertha and gave her the information. So if it was such that, you know, if that had happened and she hadn't gotten pregnant, I think she would have continued to try and help Lagertha, but I don't think she would have, um, I think she would have continued to try, uh, I think she would have continued to be with King Harold and maybe tried to be, maybe have developed an actual relationship with him. Because I think, I think he was growing on her a little bit. And I think, you know, maybe, I think she understood that, you know, where he was coming from. And it's not, it wasn't him that raped her. Um, you know, it was all those other assholes <laughs> that were like, you know, Jones and to get their dick wet and a queen, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's tragic on all, on all sides, really. Because her, her character didn't deserve to die. Like, she was trying to, you know, I think on some level she was trying to get the best possible outcome for everybody. Yeah, it just sucks that things turned out the way they did. I mean, it doesn't suck. I mean, it's it's a show like the show has played out amazingly and it's a pleasure to watch. But I mean, still, like there's a lot of really, really fucking Greek tragedies in there. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and do the rest of this whole bullshit of learning abilities and shit off screen. Now that I'm done rambling and I've filled 46 minutes. Maybe not quite that, because there's going to be some shit cut out, but... Uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll fight the boss, get out of here, and we'll get some sweet, sweet, sweet new treasure. Alright, see you guys later.